So I think if I broadly look at the global economy and the financial system, the, the most fundamental issues really are debt, um, debt and overcapacity. So deflation is rearing its ugly head again in the last 12 months. All the, the, the inflation data has started to go south across the world. Um, and why is that? Um, I think one of the big reasons is if you, in 2001, um, China joined the WTO and the world's multinational companies moved all their factories from around the world, uh, sometimes in Mexico, but from, from all sorts of places, they moved them to China and China became, as we know, the factory of the world. Uh, in moving these factories, shipping prices went up, the country sucked in vast amounts of commodities to build up the factories and the infrastructure. Hundreds of millions of people moved from the countryside to the cities on the uh, uh, eastern coasts of China. Um, and we had a boom in certain, what were called at the time, old economy industries. Now, the West, the, 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 the end consumer for all of that was still the West. It was still Americans buying too many things on credit. Then we went into this big financial crisis in 2008. I think it started in 2007. Um, and since then, the West hasn't had as much firepower in terms of consumption as before. Um, they've had some. Um, actually, debt has continued to go up, despite what the politicians told us. Um, there's been um, there's been a lot of credit made available to buy autos and students have borrowed a lot of money um, so debt's gone up um, but um, the system is kind of spluttering uh, and running out of steam um, the stock markets had a natural bounce after the end of the, um, the the worst part of the recession so they the stock markets bounce on March the 9th 2009 um, but they've been held up, I think, uh, partly artificially by um, low interest rates and the fact that companies have been buying their own stock back. And that's helped maintain big salaries for CEOs and boards um, across the world, particularly um, in the US. Um, but the economy hasn't got any better. Now, consumption, to me, looks very weak at the moment. Um, and... The, the China, the recent collapse in oil prices, which halved, uh, the China stock market, which has gone down by a third, and people are calling it uh, uh, China's 1929 moment. Um, allegedly, people have been throwing themselves off skyscrapers. It's very, very tragic. Um, all of this is interlinked because, essentially, the, the Great Depression happened when there was overcapacity in America and the consumers of America and particularly Europe were not buying anything. So the country that hurt the most in the world was the factory of the world, which was America. The crisis at the moment, um, the cause of it might partially be the Western consumer not, sp not spending money and not able to spend money. But the other half of the coin is the overcapacity in China. And, and so the, the Chinese are, uh, are very much suffering at the moment because they can't export and they've got all this excess capacity. So when you have excess capacity, it's deflationary um, unless you artificially stimulate demand again, consumption with even more debt. And I just think the system is just spluttering at the moment. Um, and so all these seemingly interconnected, sorry, seemingly not connected events are actually all connected. Whether it's emerging markets collapse in Brazil being in trouble, uh, China, the treasury bond market, it, it's all linked. Uh, and so I think the next shoe to drop will be, um, will include the US stock market. Um, and the stock market isn't cheap by any traditional measure. If you look over the last hundred years of stock market history, um, it, it's, it looks pretty expensive to me.
Uh, and I think um, many of these issues I'm pointing to are very structural. Even if you look at on a more cyclical basis, inventory levels look too high to me. Um, and that's also a red light for something uh, that um, looks like uh, an, an imminent recession. Or perhaps we've already gone into a recession.